two-term jack. I like the sound of that. Yep. I'd say this election's in the bag. <laughs> I know this. Uh, studying? Wrong! You're breaking every library rule ever created! Hey! hey. Huh? Now, I know you're just a goody two-shoes die, but you should really take a chill pill. I am not a goody two-shoes. I just have a healthy respect for authority, that's all. <laughs> uh, hello? You've never met a rule you didn't like and you know it. You're squeaky clean, a square, a goody goody. I'm not as straight laced as you might think I am, Martin Mystery. Oh, yeah? Let's just see about that. I'm gonna put this book back and I'm not even gonna look where. for the Dewey Decimal System. <laughs> the Dewey what? Uh, sorry, but I'm afraid it's official. You've come down with a bad case of goody two-shoes. <laughs> <laughs> Keep laughing. I'll show you two just how bad I can be. The center? It's coming from uh, here. Diana? Ah, don't worry, she'll catch up right after she finishes wiping the egg off her face. <laughs> Long mystery cleared. Jab in the caveman cleared. Hey there. <laughs> Hi, Java. Hi, hey, Billy. Uh, where's Diana? Looks like Miss Goody Two-Shoes is running late. Strange. She's usually a stickler for punctuality. Not to mention every rule, regulation, and bylaw ever invented. Well, we had a little argument, but <laughs> that's nothing new. I'm sure she'll be along shortly. Good afternoon, team. Hi, Mom. Why isn't the expenditure and deficit rollback matching the free balance commitment? Hmm. And where did this goo come from? Oh, uh, there's a nasty cold going through the giant tube worm colony in our lab. We, um, mm. uh, misplaced our mucus samples. Cool! Can I have some? I'm gonna pretend I didn't hear that. <laughs> I've been trying to make these numbers work for hours. I even tried the Tau Centauri inverse budget system, but nothing adds up. Just fudge <gasps> the numbers already. I mean, duh, everybody does it. Diana? Diana? That's my name, don't wear it out. Hmm, interesting look, Agent Lombard. Thanks, sister. So that's what kept you so long. You were trying on Halloween costumes. This isn't a costume, Martin. It's the new me. And FYI, the new me doesn't punch a time clock. <laughs> now what's the sitch, moms? Oh, I get it. Uh, you're being bad to make a point. The only point I see is the one on your head, pencil neck. <clears throat> uh, okay, uh, enough chit chat. I need you three to go to Stillwater, a small town in Louisiana. The mayor was recently attacked and injured by an unseen force. 
Sounds right up our alley. Just be careful. Whatever attacked the mayor was strong enough to rip a window frame from the wall after throwing the mayor out of it. Oh. <gasps> yeah, whatever. Yeah, if you'll follow me. Just a sec. about it. This place is scarier than Martin's closet on laundry day. But not as scary as Diana's sudden multiple personality disorder, and definitely not as scary as the outfit she's wearing. That's enough lip out of you, Pally. Now let's find our hotel and go see the mayor, capiche? Ah! Uh, hey! You're not supposed to stand up before the boat stops! <laughs> like I care. Painful. Reminds me of the time I went urban surfing, blindfolded. I was getting ready for the election when I was picked up and tossed through the window like a rag doll. Oh, it was horrible. Sounds like your classic shadow demon, invisible and super strong. Sounds like extreme anxiety to me. It's simple. The election made you nervous and you had one of them panic attacks. Nothing to be ashamed of, Pops. <laughs> It would take one weird panic attack to do that. It's probably just a bug bite. In case you haven't noticed, this joint is seriously infested. <sighs> oh. Yeah, right. Anyway, uh, Bioscan should straighten everything out. Humor activated. Bioscan selected. Uh, don't worry, Mr. Mayor. It's standard procedure. Martin. <gasps> Either there was a robbery at the donut shop, or we've got ourselves a situation. Let's roll. Just stay calm, I'll help you down. No! I can't come down! Look at them all! Oh! Sounds like Granny's hallucinating. <laughs> nice catch, Joff. Call an ambulance! She's out cold, but she'll be all right. <gasps> what that? I don't know, but I'm gonna find out. <sighs> Hello? Anyone there? Chanting, and there were eyes everywhere. And I found this. What? You want a gold star or something? No, my crude little biker babe. I want to figure out what this means. And I want to get out of this swamp before the stank pollutes my leather. <gasps> oh, what happened? Either the maid went ballistic or someone rifled through our stuff. Is 
gone. So's my makeup case. No nail clipper. Hey guys. <laughs> Wimps. I've got the bioscan results. <sighs> Go ahead, Billy. The marks on the mare were psychosomatic. Cyclosmort? He means the old dude's marks were created mentally, not physically. Sounds like good old-fashioned voodoo. Excuse me? Psychosomatic injuries are a classic sign. I read about it in the fall fashion issue of Paranormal Monthly. Oh, by the way, did you know that green is the new biohazard orange? Mm. Okay. I think it's time for some real research, as in the scientific kind. Now quit blabbering and fire up the legend decks, Marty. Legend X selected. Now type in Stillwater. Uh -huh. The legend X says that Stillwater has a history of voodoo that goes back to the 1700s. Okay, so you were right. Now quit bragging and keep reading. A voodoo shaman lived here until he was run out of town. He was using a powerful talisman made of alligator teeth to control the townspeople. The legend says that he turned into an alligator and vanished in the swamp. Well, I think it's obvious. The old shaman is back and wants revenge. <laughs> Not likely. I mean, 1700s, the shaman would be pushing out the daisies by now. My money's on anxiety. Yeah, well, your money would be somewhere else if you saw that alligator I ran into. Look! Well, oh. just in, there's a new mayor in Stillwater today, since all other candidates were forced to withdraw from the election. The winner by default is Montgomery Stokes. Congratulations, Mayor Stokes. What happened to the other candidates was truly unfortunate. But as your new mayor, I will do my best to serve the community. I think it's time we paid Mr. Stokes a little visit. Can I help you? Hi, Mr. Stokes. I'm Martin, this is Diana, and that's Java. We're investigating the series of attacks that just happened to involve your electoral opponents. <laughs> you must forgive me. Those attacks were very unfortunate, but this is my first day as mayor, and I have much to do. Yeah, actually, about that... What a charmer. Oh, we could talk to the townsfolk, find out about Stokes from them. Or we could come back tonight for a little beanie. Bacon and eggs? These old places always have a rusty lock or two. <clears throat> what? Uh, nothing. It's just, well, uh, breaking in. It's, it's kind of against the law. Look, if we're dealing with an evil voodoo shaman, then all bets are off. But you can always stay behind if you're chicken. Uh... Hmm. I never knew you were so good at picking locks. Neither did I. It's amazing how many rolls you can break with a simple hairpin. Oh, you hear that? That's the same noise I heard in the swamp. <laughs> Java no like. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, momentary relapse. <clears throat> Won't happen again. Let's just search this place and get out of here. <sighs> Oh. <gasps> this confirms it. Stokes used voodoo to win the election. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> Daddy! Java! Java can't move. <laughs> hey, ow! Oh, elbows don't bend that way! <laughs> Yo, who cranked up the AC? <laughs> <laughs> that would be me, the Honorable Mayor Stokes. I found the democratic process so tiring. It's so much easier just to break the rules. <laughs> Oh, Java head hurts. Oh, yeah, major ice cream headache. 
Uh, more like the adverse effects of the ear-splitting sound of power tools. <laughs> oh, you're awake. Just in time. your big friend. But lucky me, you decided to break in. Remind me again, that was your brilliant plan, wasn't it? <laughs> Thank you for your help. When I'm done tormenting you, remind me to give you a key to the city. Stay! Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a rendezvous with an ancestor. Ancestor? This hall was built on the remains of the shaman's place. The shaman who just happens to be my great, great, great grandfather. Ouch! Oh, careful! Is it me or does Java's five o'clock shadow feel more like eight o'clock shadow? Huh. Looks like someone needs to get back to the gym. Yeah, rub my face in it, why don't you? Uh, yep. As long as those dolls keep working, the three of us are done like dinner. Oh well, at least he captured my good looks. Wait a minute. That's it! What are you doing? Uh, the dolls work by locking onto a piece of you, like your hair or, or your image. <sighs> so if I change my look, the doll won't have an effect on me anymore. Hey, it's working! <laughs> Whoa, major creep alert! Oh, we better get moving before we become part of the scenery. Legend X said that the Shaman has a powerful talisman. Stokes must be trying to claim it. And to search for the talisman, he had to become mayor. Persistent, aren't you? Well, you'll be the first to feel my power. This is even better than I imagined. Diana, give me my doll! Sorry, but the new me doesn't take orders. Just give it to me, quick! <laughs> Use my own doll against me. And how do you propose to do that? <laughs> it looks like we both fell into the same thorn bush. Pretty lucky for me, huh? <gasps> now let's see how you like being a human pretzel. <laughs> What? The talisman put me down. Anything you say, Mr. Mayor.
One voodoo talisman to go. A dangerous piece of jewelry. Good job, agents. Another save chalked up to the marvelous Martin, Jive and Java, and of course, bad girl Diana. That's my name. Don't wear it out. Okay, okay, you proved your point. You can break the rules with the best of them. Now, please, Diana, lose the leather and go back to your old goody two shoes self. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Marty. The old die don't exist anymore. I'm one babe that's through being straight laced. Hey, look at this! Someone misspelled our names in the case report! <gasps> and they even filled in the wrong date! <laughs> now that's just being lazy! Regulation 5, subsection 3 clearly states that the date must be correct on all... Hey, these are blank. Huh. <laughs> gotcha! Ha ha ha, very funny. <sighs> I guess I'm not really cut out to be bad. Besides, I never would have guessed that just being myself would have saved my life. And it's no fun breaking the rules if nobody freaks out. You have the best conniptions. <laughs> oh, gross, Diana! 